Okay, what we have here today is the uh, the transmission or the tape deck part of the RCA cassette machine, the 1959 SCP-2 tape machine. Uh, there uh, is a lot going on in here. I mean, this is uh, incredibly complicated. There's a lot of springs, levers, four different idler wheels. Uh, it's just uh, a lot of stuff going on. This is the, of course, the cap stand, which directly pinches the tape to drive it. You notice the balancing hole. This was very well made here. This machine, by the way, was manufactured by Crescent, the same company that made the record changers in that year for RCA and made a lot of stuff that made their 45 changers for the most part. And uh, But anyway, <clears throat> this uh, the unmistakable, the copper plating, the fittings, everything is just, is, it's all Crescent. And I know they manufactured uh tape decks for uh, Telectro and other companies in the day. They were a big manufacturer and they were like kind of like Warwick when uh, Warwick manufactured Sears Silvertone televisions, but you never see the Warwick name. They were a private manufacturer for other companies. But anyway, <clears throat> the uh, this is the uh, supply reel right here uh, or the re and rewind and this wheel here is the uh, uh, take-up reel all driven by uh, uh, several different uh, idler wheels. Now you have over here uh, a counter, which unfortunately will never run again. It's a sad thing, but uh, I'm going to show you something here. Uh, this is a pot metal casting, and it's disintegrating. Look at that. And that, anybody who's worked on radios from the 20s, you know that the tuners fall apart. This was never exposed to, to, uh, to dampness like a basement or anything. It's just they just disintegrate. Normal air humidity gets in there. They didn't uh, seal them properly. They used a very cheap metal. And so this is, uh, it's too tight. It turns just barely. And if it were, if the, if it were tried to put it back into service again, uh, it would crumble and the pieces would get all over the place. So... Fortunately, it's not needed for the operation of the machine. It's a convenience more than anything, just to tell you where you are on the tape. But that'll never work again. And uh, I doubt that even if you were to find a parts machine, it'd have the same malady. But anyway, that's the uh, front half of the transmission. I'll show you the back half out here. Now here's the motor, motor board with the other drive wheels. So you have two different drive wheels right here, you have another drive wheel right here, and you have a monstrous motor. This is a very, very big motor on this thing. And this is your driving area for the take-up, and there's also driving area for two, three of the other wheels at the same time, off this same shaft. And uh, it's, a, it's a nightmare, but uh, kind of it's a fun nightmare. It's kind of fun to work on this stuff. There's a lot of springs, uh, a lot of levers. And a lot of go a lot going on, more so than you'd expect on something like this. Of course, it took pictures of everything as it was coming apart and uh, made notes so they can be put back together right. But anyway, that's a look at the mechanism of the SCP-2 uh, cassette machine, and hopefully it'll work again. I'm sure it will.